or the ground that the state wishes to show has been established which prevent the accused release on bail, then there are factors that will convince me to do that. Whether the shock or outrage of the community might lead to public disorder if the accused is released is one of them. Whether the sense of peace and security among members of the public will, will be undermined or jeopardized by the release of the accused. Now, I must highlight that whilst bail is inquisitorial and whilst bail, the standard in bail is not that in terms of the law, the applicability of the law of evidence, that notwithstanding, I cannot flagrantly disregard the fact that there needs to be a proper basis laid before the establishment of grounds in the Criminal Procedure Act. I do also wish to indicate that it is indeed an area of concern that where the state is in possession of information, albeit in a magazine, that the accused, for instance, has property in Italy, that the state machinery, sound and solid as it is, did not contact, for instance, Interpol or any other international police agency to help determine whether the accused indeed has a property registered in his name in Italy and whether or not he is allowed to use them. And if had that been done, then the accused would, as a matter of course, not mention it in his affidavit, and that would have certainly counted against him. Having regard to the fact that the accused <coughs> is not a flight risk, neither because he not, is not a flight risk, and that the accused does not show a propensity to commit violence, the accused, there is no evidence before me, will interfere with state witnesses, and there isn't proper evidence before me relating to the public perception of the matter. And having regard to the totality of the evidence before me against the factors that need to be established before the accused may be denied bail, I find that the very non-establishment of those factors set out in section 64A to E, together with the fact that the accused has in this instance offered a version under oath at a very early stage, and I do not attach any weight to the investigators, investigating officers concessions with regard to the defense version, but the fact remains, ordinarily one gets flimsy affidavits merely saying I deny the allegations, I will not, I will not flee. But in this instance, the accused has reached out to try to meet the state case, of course against the background of those improbabilities that I have seen and mentioned.